Hi, I'm Tyler Miller. I'm the sponsor of Initiative 1621. Uh, the reason that I decided to sponsor this initiative is because there's a lot of debate going on in the country right now over how to best address the needs of security at our schools. Do we arm our teachers? Do we arm staff? Do we entertain that as a possibility at all? Uh, the problem is in the state of Washington, we're not even allowed to have that conversation right now. The, uh, the way the laws are structured, uh, weapons of any kind are not allowed on school campuses except um, in extreme, uh, extremely narrow instances of armed police officers, uh, military exercising, uh, military engaged in military exercises, or a very loose term called school district security activities, which is very vague and subject to a lot of interpretation as to what exactly that means. Uh, I want to remove all the ambiguity from the law and simply allow anyone who has a valid concealed pistol license to be able to carry legally on campus. Now the, the reason that this is a good idea is because it gives the most amount of flexibility to our local school districts to decide for themselves how they want to implement any sort of security policies and strategies. The provisions that I put into this initiative um, that allow for school districts to require any employees that would want to carry on campus to have a certain level of uh, safety certification and training prior to them being able to carry on campus and it would also require any employees who want to carry on campus to inform the principal at very minimum the I, I say the senior administrator and that's usually the principal so why do parents need the uh, ability to conceal carry on campus well very simple I drop my little girl off to school every day now the current law does allow me to do that but it's very vague again and in subject to interpretation as to what that means dropping off and picking up my student does that mean that I can pull up to the curbside open the door and let her out and then I have to just let her walk in by herself she's five she's in kindergarten I like to walk her into the building am I allowed to do that what if the teacher wants to stay and talk to me for five minutes and have just a little mini parent-teacher conference? Can I do that if I'm still carrying my firearm? I personally believe that it's more dangerous for me to take my firearm off my person and lock it up as the law requires me to prior to entering the school than if I just leave it on my, uh, my body. So those are, those are some of the, the basic um, reasons that I put this in place. Uh, one of the impetuses for uh, coming up with this initiative was uh, at our school here. We have a, a small Christian private school. We have six classrooms, not very big. We don't need, um, it's not practical for us to have metal detectors. We're a K through eight institution. Um, but our, our janitor at night um, comes in and she approached our school board about the possibility of she has a valid CPL and she wanted to be able to carry her pistol from her car inside the building because there had been some shady characters hanging around. We've had some problems with some people hanging around the parking lot at night and she wanted the ability to go in to the building with her pistol. She offered to lock it up when she was inside. This is after hours. Many you know, many hours after any students are around. She simply wanted to be able to carry it inside. We cannot give her that permission with the way that the law currently stands. Uh, and that is ridiculous. She should not have to uh, lessen her level of safety and her own self-protection uh, simply because um, the law says that this is a gun-free zone. Um, so we want to be able to give her that permission. Again, this is about providing flexibility to the local school districts, giving them the power to choose. Spokane is going to do it very differently than Seattle, very differently than Bremerton, very differently than Euphreda. You know, there's different uh, strategies, different challenges all over the state and in all different school situations. And we wanted to give the maximum amount of flexibility and the maximum amount of constitutional guarantees to our citizens. Thank you.